In Athens, Greek ministers are gathered at the residence of the Prime Minister to work on a proposal they hope could end the deadlock over Greece's debt. Here, the Fishuk said the situation was very serious. A rally in support of debt relief for Greece was held in Dublin. Alexis Tsipras back from Russia and facing into a critical weekend. To avoid default and save its banks, the Greek government may need an agreement with the ECB and IMF by Monday. Those rallying in Dublin today, mainly anti-water charges groups, backed Greece's calls for debt relief. So this is a potentially existential moment for the euro in Europe. Uh, and if Greece defaults and if it is forced out, uh, not only is it a systemic failure, but it's a failure, I think, of the entire European project and those who are uh, talking on Monday need to know that. I think that they have to default. I, 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 at the moment, the way things stand, I, I can't see that they have any option but to default. Penning an Irish Times article, the finance minister, Yanis Varoufakis, complained his country's proposals have not been shared with EU finance ministers. Mr. Varoufakis says Ireland may feel some mild superiority right now, given that it has taken the bitter pill of austerity and is coming out of the woods. However, the question Ireland must answer is whether it wants a Eurozone where Greece is thrown to the wolves or one where it gets a deal based on its proposals. EU leaders meet again on Monday. Today, the Taoiseach, who will attend, had this to say. All of the instability that has been caused, that's really hurting the people in Greece. And if you want a corollary of that, instability leads to real hardship for, for ordinary people, wherever that happens. There's a, there's a, it's a very serious matter. The final outcome, he said, was up to Greece and its creditors. Carol Coleman, RTE News. Support for Fiona Foyle has increased.